so now the social system principles part these are again the only the principle of the principles not very much in detail and of course there is one more point regarding all right so <coughs> first of all we come to this material world now we want to go back so this uh, phenomenon of going back the stages of it they are of different scales uh, as i understand them so one scale is of the faith one scale is of different this this scale probably uses is of the modes of material nature uh there is a yet another scale of uh, attachment to krishna so that is one thing so uh, this particular thing is uh, regarding the modes of material nature so for, so in uh, 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 material world we are more into passion and ignorance now the problem of passion and ignorance is you don't understand the uh, spiritual life understanding of spiritual life is not possible in these two stages that's why our first milestone as i call these are more like milestone i say it as the first important milestone is to come to mode of goodness why because this is the place where we can actually understand what is spiritual life and as propat says this is the place where we can call a person to be kanishtha adhikari <laughs> and propat says this is where actual devotional life starts from this particular point the, from the first milestone the devotional life starts so when we say vaishno of course you know in practical circumstances uh, uh, so for my exa- my example i'm like covered in lot of mode of ignorance and passion but still i'm chanting something so there is some devotion service definitely but then uh, it's not exactly you know <laughs> if you compare it to where we are supposed to reach so not supposed i mean i am not that kind of vaishno truly speaking because uh, my devotion service in once is not 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 started yet so because of this mode of passion and ignorance so these three uh, i i have taken as propat also has uh, said not exactly said as milestones but i am taking it as such milestone 1 and milestone 2 this is the milestone a first milestone for us why because this is the place where we can understand spiritual life that's why there is so much emphasis on coming to goodness and when when propat says training he is asking training to come to mode of goodness that is what training is not something you know follow some daily routine or something you know that's basically come coming to mode of goodness is the training that we are supposed even in uh, gurukul one one very uh, intelligent and uh, what a uh, devotee was i some i had got a chance to go to vrindavan gurukul and met a uh, really uh, amazing vishnu was there and uh, so called gurukul boys <laughs> they <laughs> i was supposed to tell them something but then i ended up learning so much one devotee at the end he asked me a question so he said what are the instructions of propad for gurukul what what are propad's expectations from gurukul boys i was i sank into the ground i what what i will say to this person i am not at the level i of course at that time i i told them frankly that i don't know i have not studied that i have to find out but i told him i'll get back to you and have it written his email id unfortunately i lost that email id but yes uh, when propat says training he expects us to come to mode of goodness that is the point even in gurukul we should try our best to come to mode of goodness uh, and then eventually to pure, pure goodness now these are the milestones there are two processes to come to mode of goodness specifically to mode of goodness one is the slow process one is the fast process slow process is varanashram as discussed by propan um in this process it is so slow that it might take lifetimes actually to come to mode of goodness mode of goodness is basically brahman platform i'm not calling the name brahman because it, it has a different connotation so mode of goodness is more important the point point is that the mode is more important 
by slow process you you can reach the mode of goodness but takes little time little means lifetimes that's why slow process is really very slow but you can reach the mode of goodness but this is the stage of only brahman but to if you want to go beyond this stage it is mandatory that you become vaishnav because beyond goodness beyond brahman, brahman is like brahma janati he knows brahman in personal aspect beyond that if he wants to go he he should accept the personal feature in other words he is become a devotee vaishnav then he again takes this fast process and go back uh, can go to the pure goodness that is the point but for a vaishnav no matter which stage he is in takes the fast process hari krishna mantra immediately very fast in fact the this process is so blinding fa- blinding fast then in literally you chant hari krishna and you are at that level now point is coming to this level is relatively very simple i should very simple this chant hari krishna but coming to this stage is relatively very simple but the biggest problem is to stay at that level that is extremely tough because if if you are not at a certain level but you you know you are exerting yourself a lot but you know because you are at the different stage you just uh, push yourself too much and then when the you know you are little careless or something you know you can fall down so maintaining that stage is extremely tough chant hari krishna immediately but then you again fall down why because you are not able to maintain that stage coming is easy maintenance is very difficult but yes eventually it's possible and so you can immediately go that's why i said you should chant 24 hours 24 hours chanting then you know there is no question of 24 hours actual chanting is the uh, is the expectation mostly people i don't see unfortunately there not many talk about it but this is the very just chant 24 hours that's that's it, it it's a, it's a unsaid uh, understanding that on oh, no, 16 rounds and that's it and some day we will chant 20 no it's not like that sir the, from many angles it can be understood but anyways uh, it's really unfortunate that uh, not many devotees talk about this 24 hour chanting but that is the basic thing you should be trying to chant 24 hours a day anyways but i must tell you this 24 hour chanting is not easy actually it is not very easy it is called i mean chanting is called a you know topmost of the sacrifices and it is not called it is called for a reason it's not just like that uh, let me tell you I, this is this this we are talking about varnashram but specifically if I, because we are uh, we have touched this topic of 24 hours chanting so i am telling it's a very beautiful concept but if you are chanting 24 hours i mean you are doing your best to do so at least so we should be uh, please take care that you know your li- don't expect your life material life to go on smoothly because that is a way of spiritual life first there will be halal you know poison coming out and it will happen automatically and that that is also a good thing which means the process is working krishna will take you take your life through some uh, procedures by which you yourself will give up a lot of attachments so chanting 24 hours is very good and you should all of us should try to try try our best to chant 24 hours but 24 hours chanting is not possible directly that doesn't mean you should not try you should every single moment you should try but at the same time you should follow varanashram also why because this is not you know this is more like you know it it gives a cushion varanashram you know it 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 it, it protects you 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 cannot chant 24 hours like ardas thakur but if you try to do as prabhat said then there will be you know if you imitate not try to do but if you imitate ardas thakur only 24 hours chanting and no varanashram then there will there will be fall down this is actually it's a very tough situation it's a very very tough thing. i mean but in any case chant 24 hours it will protect you don't worry but varanashram uh, along with it is very uh, good so that it will protect you from a lot of things if varanashram and chanting is done in a very a uh, proper satvik way then chance of fall down are very very less and uh, advancement is super fast really very good yeah. unfortunately varanashram is not established that is the, that is one of the big big problems but that's not a problem 
chanting will somehow manage it krishna will take care of it so this is vaishnav who follows both the processes chanting also and varanashram also both things simultaneously don't do only one thing if you do only this thing then there is no difference between this and this this is a very slow process if you do only this thing imitate this thing then it becomes problem then you know then there will be surge chanting there will be fall downs so both has to be there that doesn't mean we should not try to do it in our daily life 16 rounds is bare minimum 24 hours is mandatory there's always a situation of prill and we don't understand it because we don't chant anyways the point is we we do both processes this is all it and i am showing it above this also because chanting goes even beyond this that goes so that is um, needless to say i have also shown this till this point even if somebody becomes a pure devotee why because he needs to follow not because he is bound by varanashram not because he is supposed to follow no but he does follow because to set an example sri chaitanya mahaprabhu he followed varanashram system he was sannyasi he followed that dharma uh uh sri bhakti siddhant sadesh thakur bhakti vinod thakur he was a grahastha um, prabhupad as long as he was grahastha he followed then he took one percent sannyas he followed system he followed even if you become pure devotee pure devotee is out of the uh, means uh, they are expected to follow because that will set an example for others so that's why these two things go parallelly simultaneously but that does not mean that somebody becomes a pure devotee he cannot do other jobs he is independent even if he is kshatriya nature say arjun or anybody there is one good example prabhat gives in this verse uh, uh, paro dharma bhayava there is a um, uh, parshuram he was a kshatriya but he was in transcendental platform he could perform the uh, job of a brahman also sorry he was a brahman and then he did the job of kshatriya on the other hand sri vishwamitra muni he was a kshatriya but transcendental platform he acted as brahman under the direction of the spiritual master that is possible so it's not necessary that he should follow but he does follow for the sake of general public to uh, lead to follow so these are two different uh, things uh, this is the moral is the sum and substance of it now mm, there is another very important concept regarding this there is um, uh, i have not shown it here lord is a some lord is a jealous lover so jealous he wants the living entities his devotees to follow him with all his available faculties that's why this is a thing you know, all his might all his heart and all his soul and you know so here it is like we have three faculties we have kaya the our body mind and words at a given time you can engage these th- these three things in doing three different things it's possible you can be singing a particular song thinking about one person at the same time doing some uh, mechanical activity so you can engage your mind body and words in three different places simultaneously krishna wants all these things to to be at simultaneously be engaged in his service only <laughs> it is unlike otherwise so he that's incomplete kaya means body he his instruction for the body is you clean his temple and everything else all that and of course i am connecting it to varanasi because in practical life uh, you know uh, most of the day you will be following varanasham dharma that is krishna's order also of course so varanasham or clean the temple and di- some direct deity services and everything else so like uh, amrish maharaj did kaya manasa mind mind is always thing manmana bhava bhakta all these things so mind so body mind and words so he wants us to engage all of these three hmm? so we will be only discussing regarding varanashram but i am telling this just to make a point that you know to break this misconception that devotion service is a part time job it's not absolutely not it's not at all a part time job in fact other things are also not included in that only devotion service so and with all your faculties kaya manasa vacha and 24 hours fortunate are those who get a jealous lover <laughs> anyways uh lover doesn't necessarily only mean you know boy and girl and it, even even in, uh, as um, 
relationship between friendship so that is also same love basically it doesn't necessarily mean only boy and girl all these rasas are there they all are love so point even even master and servant it's also same thing but then the principle remains kaya manasa vacha 24 hours why lord wants it that <laughs> so uh that is the goal and we should all be trying to do that it's not a high principle it is our nature it's possible we have to do it one day at least if we keep push postponing then it becomes anyways so point is uh this is the principle regarding uh, the social system some important points what about non brahmins now we say oh this is about goodness what about those who are not at this stage of uh brahman now i am talking of vaishnavas only why i am putting a big explanation here is because this is not the way we address and somebody this is, you will not find prabhat saying brahman vaishnava or shudra vaishnava it is a wrong way it is one of the best ways to fall down if you want to live don't speak it this way i am just giving it for the sake of understanding only that is it please don't use this terminologies this vaishnava that vaishnava black version of american version of pink version of don't do it please or brahman version of shudra version of please don't do it if you want to live don't do it i'm just saying it for the sake of understanding it what about those version of who are who are not on uh, at the goodness level for them also the process is same follow this process and then it goes that's not a problem now it may happen that somebody may start from a shudra level but by fast process and he is engaged in shudra activities but by fast process he within a few uh, years or months or whatever he immediately comes to a platform of goodness should he shift to brahman stage he shifts or doesn't shift doesn't so much is not very important as long as the fast process is carried out even if he continues to, in that stage it's not so much a issue main point is you continue this fast process and be in varanashram but yes he if he is qualified and everything that is that can be understood now uh, he he can shift also of course but he can continue also there is no harm so what about the what about this category those who are into varanashram but are not at brahman same process follow varanashram which whichever whichever uh, varana you have do that activity and do the fast process also then advancement is there prescription of this is a very important topic to understand the prescription of varana and the identification of varana this is the way it is from modes you understand what what is his prescription if he is in mode of goodness then his prescription is to take training of a brahman if he is in the mixed mode of passion and ignorance he is exp- uh, he is expected to take training of being a vaishnava if in the mode of passion kshatriya ignorance uh, shudra so from modes you decide the prescription of training and as prescribed there is training for that particular varna and this prescription is done by the spiritual master looking at the modes of material nature of that particular uh, person and after training is done he is expected to work according to uh, that particular varna's quali- uh, work and quality both work and quality both are required and if if a person is working both as uh, is a well trained and is working and has qualities both of a particular varna then his identification as var- of that particular varna is established identification varna is different from prescription these two things are different sometimes there is a bit of confusion while using you know we just because somebody is in a particular mode so we think we say that oh he is uh, uh, this particular person no somebody is intelligent doesn't mean he is he is a brahman no he should work and have qualities both now the problem today what happens is this is what happens instead of the standard process this is what happens we find a person with skills so oh you are good in this go and do that work so oh he is say for example somebody is good in management oh he is he is a kshatriya nature go and do some management and he is put into management post and says oh 
now his uh, identification of varana is oh he is a kshatriya that's not the point with this system what you are doing is you are asking ekalavya to become a kshatriya just because he knows the art of archery that is wrong he does not have the quality of compassion he does not have the quality of protecting the living entities that's why he is unfit to become a kshatriya but in kali yuga this is what exactly is happening oh you have the skill go to that go and do that work and that's it that is terribly wrong this causes paro dharma and that is a bhayavah very interestingly very interestingly this uh, word bhayavah krishna uses word bhayavah here it it comes from the root word called bhaya so bhaya means fear if i'm not mistaken that's that's the root word it comes from it's fearsome it's wrong it's he, krishna doesn't only use a very small mild word oh it's wrong you should not do no he, he doesn't say anuchita no he says bhayavah it is a it's a terrible situation it is a fearsome situation so uh fear some you fear some for the leaders also and everybody else it's a, it's a tranny it's a very difficult situation and that's exactly what is happening so uh, this point has to be understood very very clearly what is prescription of varana prescription is by modes by by prescription you decide training after training he is expected to work and have qualities practice qualities both practice the work and qualities both then he is identified as particular varna so both are required this process is the right vedic process but what happens is you only see the skill and you allocate the work that is a wrong terribly wrong process that is the central problem why there is there is so much of issues all over the world in all levels of management see the skill and give it and think we are following one that is not one anashram that is not one anashram that is paro dharma bhayavah that's why you see problems in iskon so of course i am not you may say oh prabhat is also doing but prabhat also said that he has not established iskon uh, sorry uh, uh, one anashram and that one anashram establishment is mandation and prabhat's time whatever limited resources and he used and you know he created magic there but uh, uh, establishment of varanashram is important and for varanashram this cannot go on this is a very terribly wrong uh, practice i can go i literally go in details of how things work if you go into this direction how that's that's a very you know you'll say there'll there'll be criticism then but then yeah that the principle the backbone the 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 bottle like the the point where things are going wrong is this you take the skill you have lot to work <sighs> that is wrong just because eklave has the skill doesn't make him qualified to become kshatriya please understand this anyways uh, not anyways but please take it in mind some humble request otherwise that is situation is not very good there is another uh, very important point this is another yet very important point in iskon the thread brahmans versus qualified brahmans these are two different concepts the thread giving in iskon is more to do with his understanding of absolute truth his acknowledged thread means he is acknowledged vaishnav that is it why he is given thread to acknowledge that yes he is superior to a brahman why in the sense that he has um, uh, the personal understanding of the absolute truth while a brahman has is only till the impersonal expected but a vaishnav he has even the personal understanding of absolute truth so by this scale of understanding of absolute truth he is superior to a brahman but that does not call make him a qualified brahman why there is a difference i am making because although you may get a thread as vaishnav but that doesn't make you qualified to do job of a brahman 
like you cannot that doesn't qualify you to enter into a dt room that doesn't qualify you to uh, sit on vyasas and give lectures that doesn't qualify you to become a teacher that doesn't qualify you for uh, brahmanical jobs that is a simple thing you are qualified you are more uh, you are more than a brahman only in the sense because you understand the spiritual truth better than a brahman now in these two the third brahman he is necessarily a vaishnav but in this qualified brahman case he is not necessarily a vaishnav he may be but not necessarily he may be only a uh was brahman coming from the regular process the slow process in varanashram or after many lifetimes he becomes a brahman so he is not necessarily a vaishnav but he can be a vaishnav also but for a thread brahman it is a necessity that he has to be a vaishnav for a thread brahman it is not necessary that he is a qualified brahman but for a qualified brahman it is necessary for him to be a qualified brahman thread brahman can be a qualified brahman that's a different thing but it is not necessary that he is always just because he has got a thread he is a qualified brahman no it is not thread is only for his acknowledgement of being a vaishnav that is it qualification of brahman is a different concept itself so why this particular difference i have uh, specified is because this is another yet important con- um, issue that happens in iskon is because we get a thread so then we say oh he is a brahman it is true we call him a brahman but you should understand he is not quali- he is not a qualified brahman it is acknowledgement for him uh, being a vaishnav who is superior to brahman but that is different from from a qualified brahman qualified brahman so why i am saying the difference because although he has got a thread he is not necessarily qualified brahman he may be but not necessarily so what happens is the confusion comes when you put a thread and you call somebody as a brahman and you say who is superior to a brahman it is all right but that doesn't qualify you to do brahman's job you have to have the qualification of a brahman you have, you have to be in a mode of goodness you have to understand spiritual life then all the quali- then all the uh, work of work and quality of brahman comes please try to understand it and then again otherwise there will be porodharma bhava even more bhava so especially in regards to kshatriyas and brahmans this has to stop this porodharma has to stop otherwise there is no question of in fact there is no what to speak of varnasham there is no question of peace there is no question of peace for anybody everything will be topsy turvy you cannot just say oh i have got brahman thread so i have become qualified to uh, do brahman's duties that is wrong somebody may not be uh, you just be a new person but he may be in mode of goodness so he is a qualified brahman not necessarily vaishnav not necessarily vaishnav but he may be a qualified person uh, to do uh, brahman's business not necessarily a vaishnava again but somebody may be a vaishnava may be having brahman thread but not necessarily he is eligible to do brahman's job that's these two things are different so it is my request to please consider these two issues the the first, the second point and the third one that i am saying this creates a lot of problem parodharma bhava creates a lot of problems and yes this is last but of course the most important why we are following this thing Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, uh, in the talks of Sri Ramananda Rai, he prescribes this process. That's why. So, uh, there is Sthane Sthita Shruti Gatam Tanu Vak Manogar. So, it is a very uh, wonderful process that he describes. And one thing I want to say regarding this is, regarding this is, in the shloka, the first most important point that, uh, that, that is said is, you give up your speculation. I forgot the... the beginning and then there is namanta eva then sthane sthita shudigata antanuvat so first prescription is you give up your speculation i'll tell you my spiritual life majority time of my spiritual life was in 2009 2000 i came 99 2000 2000 now it is 17 2017 going on 17 years 60% of my time 60 or 70% of my time went into 
simply understanding this one thing stops speculation even today i although i understand it still it's not oh, it's not <laughs> completely given speculation such a but giving up speculation is such a top not a thing to mean that i was not knowing it i could have even given a mind blowing lecture on that topic of how you should give up speculation and everything and nothing to i mean not, not to mean that i was not knowing the concept that's a different thing but what you practice is a very different thing giving a lecture is a different thing what i am practicing actually is a different thing most of most times like you know we try, we tend to disconnect these two things we are more into giving an impressive presentation but the thing remains you know you have to uh, what you are practicing in terms is a very different thing and of course i am not a very uh, surely i must be a very dull person for <laughs> all these years i have been simply trying to find the process of devotion service and it has become so uh, tough for me of course i have heard so many lectures devotees might have told also i am not so uh, intelligent to understand what they were saying probably the lectures were very in- impressive when, but then uh, i was not able to find a process of devotion service definitely i must be a very dull person uh, <laughs> even today i don't understand it very properly but but the point is you know it's <laughs> 17 years now anyways so <laughs> point is the majority of my time 70 75 percent of my time went to this you know uh, clearing of my previous conceptions and speculations you want to understand this it took such a long time anyways that's why in the presentation you'll see the first uh, uh, video that is joe meets sama prabhu the Five six seconds of time where you know he pushes the button, delete everything. <laughs> Within five six seconds, this happens. It took me years and years of it, and still I am not. Uh, anyways, the point is, you know, this speculation has to be stopped. Please, only then will we will be able. To, not that you don't we don't understand this point. Of course, most of you must have done it. I am just, <laughs> but uh, yeah. So. <laughs> after that then there is a uh, namanta yoga then okay listen to what what the spiritual masters are telling uh, especially sri chatrama prabhu the original spiritual master for all god yoga shastras so he is telling something then uh, finished you follow that finish there is no ifs and buts so namanta yoga and then you know sthane sthita shuddhi gatam tanu atmano per so, there is another extremely important point in this shuddhi gatam tanu there is a they say okay Yeah. then what do you do you hear from uh, uh, saintly people from pure devotees in iskon i have seen sometimes they say oh hearing is the process keep hearing keep hearing keep hearing but but they don't stress upon whom to hear from whom to hear from that is extremely important not just simply keep hearing hearing from whom you listen to that is an extremely important concept you know it took me a lot of time to understand these things because unfortunately you know the way situation is so this both things are uh, necessary you give up your conceptions and you hear but from whom that is important best best is to hear from a pure devotee of the lord yeah. after so many years earlier i was not understanding what prabhu is saying sincerely speaking i was more uh, more liking what different devotees were saying now today after of course probas i was not, i was not qualified probably at that time somehow by probas mercy <laughs> my, my offenses might have reduced somehow so now the situation is that i am not able to understand anybody else i am only able to understand what proba is saying proba speaks so clearly that is the way i was expecting somebody speak something logical sir something thematic something that connects the ground to the sky something that connects my daily life to something divine and magical like spiritual world and and it's a by step by step in an authorized manner that probably is the only person that that i find i'm able to sink in not that others are not saying it they may be saying i'm not able to understand that 
only able to understand Prabhupada now. Earlier, I was not able to understand Prabhupada, I was able to understand everybody else. At least I thought so. And then later, now at this point, I am not able to understand anybody else. I am only able to understand what Prabhupada is saying. He, he speaks so logical and clear. Anyways, the point what, what I am saying is, from whom you hear is very important. Uh, it is safest to hear from a pure devotee. Now, uh, 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 Chakramapurus, this I am giving. Why? Because to authenticate, the process is very authentic. Sthana is theta. You be at your place. Your Brahman, stay at your place. Your Kshatriya, do a, stay at your place. But what do you do? Hearing, chanting. So, this is the process, fast process. Keep doing this. So, both has to be done. And, Shruti uh, Tanu Vak Mano. With mind, body and words again, these three faculties have to be used. And then what will happen because of that? Ajito Jito, such a beautiful verse. <laughs> you, will, you will conquer the unconquerable Lord. So that is the uh, uh, benefit you will get, they say. So, these are more or less the thing. These are important points, I say. And uh, uh, to sum it up, there are as we come to the material world, uh, there are three, two important mind, one at least a very important milestone as far as the mode of, uh, as far as the goodness scale is concerned, at, as far as the modes scale is concerned, passion and ignorance to goodness. This is, this should be our first goal as devotees to come to, and this is the training what we should give to devotees to come to mode of goodness. And so this is the first milestone. Why goodness? So that we understand spiritual life at this stage. There is a possibility that we can understand spiritual life at goodness. Then we can. Now this stage is a Kanishtadikari stage. From here the spiritual life actually begins. There are two processes to attain it. One is slow process. One is fast process. Fast process is... You know, chanting the basically the Yuga Dharma, fast process chanting Hare Krishna Mahamantra, hearing from pure devotees of the Lord. And plus there is Varnashram recommendation. Why? Because only fast process is not possible. But that doesn't mean we should not try for it. We should not we should always try to chant 24 hours. And at the same time we should do Varnashram also. Both things are necessary. Otherwise the, you do only one thing, then it becomes only Varnashram, it becomes a slow, slow process. It will take lifetimes. Only fast process, Sahaja chanting may come. So both has to be there. And then eventually you can you can then come to, uh, by this process you can come to pure goodness. At this point Krishna uh, will be revealed. And this is the point where a person is like Krishna Tattva Vetta, you know, if you are devotee of Allah, he understands Krishna. And he can become a guru. Krishna Tattva Vetta, he can become a guru. Amongst the important points, what about non-Brahmins? Same process they follow and they go ahead. Prescription of Varna and identification of Varna. This, this is a very important point one should understand. Modes decide the prescription and work and quality decides the identification. But you should not commit a mistake. So skill, do that work. And he is a that. Eklava has skill of fighting. He is a Kshatriya. That is wrong. Please don't do that. That Then that will cause Parodharma Bhayavaha. Again, this is another point of Parodharma Bhayavaha is it is called Thread Brahman. The thread is given for an identification of Vaishnav, not for identification of a qualified Brahman. Qualified Brahman may may not be a Vaishnav, but he is eligible to do Vaishnav, Brahmana's job. Thread Brahman if he is not Brahmanically qualified, then he is not supposed to do Brahmana's job. He should do a job of his qualification in Varna. See, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he has given this process. First thing is to give up speculation. That may take a bit of time. <coughs> Most of you must have done. For, but for those, please. And... Uh, Second thing is uh, uh, regarding hearing. Hearing from authoritative sources is very important. Best is to hear from some pure devotee. So these two things are uh, uh, important in my understanding. Uh, this is some substance. There are a lot of other details. <coughs> and of course, I, we discuss a little bit about 
Kaya Manasawacha, the jealous lover. So, congratulations, you have one. So this is so this is more or less the sum and substance of the social system principles. There are other details also. You can go through the project, uh, project and that should be clear. So now we'll we'll be covering a little bit about the uh, social system practical aspects.